Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everybody doing tonight? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel. I'm here with some happy mail from uh, my friend, your friend, our friend, uh, Laura, or, <coughs> excuse me, or our friend, uh, Laura, who is L-I on, uh, if you see in the comments, L-I, that's Laura. Sorry, I feel like a tickle in my throat all of a sudden as soon as I start the video, of course, right? But I, I received uh, yesterday when I got home, there was a huge box waiting for me. I mean, huge. And she said, I think she said she was sending me an envelope. So <laughs> I expected a small, you know, an envelope, you know. And then when I got home, uh, it there was a huge box there, so I was very surprised. And this is all the way from Hawaii. So it's so cool to receive uh, things from Laura and from Hawaii. But uh, I wanted to say real quick before we dig in here, I want to get this all done in one video. So I'm going to go quick, but I want to make sure we both see everything. And also, I wanted to announce the winner of my giveaway. Uh, I don't think it's really necessary to do a separate uh, because I put a little announcement under the giveaway video about who won, but uh, I had a giveaway this morning and it was basically uh, sharing happy mail from Maria and um, Dale McBay was the first one to email me. So Dale McBay won that video, so I'm going to be sending that pa package out tomorrow to Dale McBay. So I was so excited that someone actually emailed me because I didn't know, you know, I didn't know if it would... Um, Go over very well and I actually had a lot of emails and even after you know people could see that you know there was a lot of comments so they probably figured that people had emailed me but they emailed me anyway and I really want to say I appreciate that because that just um, you know it warms my heart because you know I just feel like people are support you know you feel like people are supporting you and and that just really was nice and I appreciate that all the comments and emails and any likes or whatever happened with that video was all very positive and I really appreciate it so without delay let's get jump in here and see what I got from Laura <laughs> so I'm not sure where to start but she sent me some fabric so let's start on that there's a big, this is, this was in that big box, like a, you know, what I have it right here. I just took everything out so we wouldn't have to struggle. It's a, one of those big uh, priority mail boxes from the post office. So this was all in one box. And so let's see, we've got, <laughs> I'm not sure, let me move things over. But thank you so much, Laura. This is so exciting. I can't wait to see what's in here. It's going to be awesome, I know. Okay, look at all this yumminess. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. So, I, like I said, I want to try to go a little bit fast so that we can get it all done in one video so I don't have to, you know, do two videos. But this is super pretty, and it's got a little bird down here. Isn't that cute? And there's another bird on this side, too. This is really neat. Yes, I use my fabrics for all different things. Covers. You know, I use it on the outside of the journal, inside of the journal. I use it on the spine, and I use it, uh, you know, on the spine in, in, in and out also. If it doesn't really need, have I don't have fabric all over the whole cover, then I'll a lot of times just have it on the spine, inside and out for extra support. So, or, or just for decoration. And then you could, I make fabric ruffles. Um, you can, you know, make fabric ruffles on a page or on, uh, you know, journal cards and tags and things. So... And I'd make uh, ties for, you know, tie closures. You can rip a piece of fabric and make a really pretty, just um, torn, you know, frayed edge, uh, frayed edge tie closure. So isn't this cute? This would be perfect on a little golden book, wouldn't it? Or on a journal cover right here with these bears. So cute, so pretty. Thank you, Laura, this is so pretty. Look at the bears and the little duck and the colors. I love it. <laughs> um, I think, Laura, you said something about um, nobody. Did you say nobody would like your fabrics or something like that? Like you didn't think they were that great. But let me tell you that they are. <laughs> they are great. So this is absolutely beautiful. Would make a great fall journal. Look at those colors. 
I'm going to have to organize these into seasons, maybe, <laughs> or some kind of categories. Very pretty. This is, it's, let me see this. This is pretty, on, like it's the same on the front and the back. Isn't that neat? So you can use either side, I guess. This looks like it's, this might be the front, but it's still really pretty on the back, too. So, very pretty. The browns and the, like a bronze color. That is pretty. And here's some pretty lace. Yay. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I don't think I have any big um, pieces of lace right now, so this could really come in handy on some shabby chic journals or, you know, some layering and things like that. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. And some more beautiful lace. So this is flowery. And is this, did Maria have this one too? Because I remember her mentioning squares. And this one has squares, which is awesome for layering, right? Or just as, oh, look at this, how it looks behind here. Wait a minute, let me hold the phone. Look at this shiny, um, sparkly, whatchamacallit here. <laughs> I might leave, lose my words for a second here, but this is really, look at this. I just saw this one. This sparkly and this over the sparkly. Wouldn't that be pretty on the, on the front of a journal? Can you see that? I think you could see it better down here. See the blue behind the lace. Isn't that pretty? Let's, let's just experiment for one second here and then we'll move on. <laughs> and this one too. I want to just see how this one looks. Yes, that is cool. Wow. I would have never thought of that until I saw it in front of me. I don't think I would have. I would have. I, I promise you I wouldn't have thought of that. <laughs> so this one has the squares. Okay. Let's see now. This is so pretty. I love. I, I, I have to remember this because this is so pretty. Okay. This one has flowers. I just, I see another lace back here over blue. Now this is a, oh, this is a blue lace. Okay, so I'm just looking at layering here. So this is a blue lace and this is a, so you could actually layer laces or, oh, wouldn't it look good in a little collage, like a little collage for, for a pocket or something. Okay, so that, I want to see how that looked. Now, is this different from this flower or is this the same? This is a different color. Okay, so this is more white and this is and it's a different flower. Okay, yes, but both very pretty. I like the white, pretty white over this blue. Isn't that pretty? Now I want to see it over this one. <laughs> ah, that is so pretty with that sparkly under there. Oh my goodness. I would have, ah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. See, you, you put it in the package so perfectly. I don't know if you planned that, but... That was in there so perfectly, so I would see that sparkling under the lace, and that gave me idea ideas. <laughs> so we saw that blue lace, which is absolutely beautiful. Here's another beautiful one over the sparkly. Oh, I just want to see this one under here, too. The blue lace under the white lace. I think this was white, or, yeah, I think it's white or off-white. Um, my desk is, here's some white here, you can see it is a little bit off. Well, it's pretty white. This is white. See, this is a little, yeah, it's a little off white compared to this white. Okay, so I'm going to put that to the side. Oh, oh, let's try it under the black lace. <laughs> oh gosh, that's pretty. And let's try the blue one under the black lace. Very pretty also. Wow, so many possibilities. Now is this... It doesn't matter if it's the same pattern, but I'm just wondering if it is. No, it's not. This one has, this almost has like, almost looks like a paisley there. Very pretty. Black lace. I did, I've never had, I've had black lace, you know, strips, but never a big piece of black lace like that. That's neat. Wow. These colors are awesome too. Of course, it's turquoise. I would say that's turquoise. Turquoise dreaming. Thank you <laughs> for my turquoise. And then we saw this one. So, okay. I know I got to move so we can get this done in a 
timely manner. <laughs> but here's another pretty piece of lace. I don't think we saw this one yet. But if we did, it's pretty and flowery. And this is like eyelet type of uh, material. So here's a couple pieces. These are different. Yeah, these are different. Oh, I could do all sorts of stuff with this. Layering. Pockets. Can't wait to use it. <laughs> this is, I don't know. <laughs> okay, here's another piece of eyelet. And I'm trying to see if these are different. I think, yeah, this has smaller holes and a different pattern. Very pretty. I, I don't have anything like this, so I've never had anything like this. <laughs> so, oh wow, there's a bunch of this. Oh, look at the orange or tangerine. So pretty. Oh man, those will look good. Fresh, fresh spring colors there. Beautiful, and that will last me forever. <laughs> there's a lot there. And this is also very beautiful. Look at this. Lots of pretty color. I love color. This is beautiful, Laura. I don't know what you were saying about your fabric that no one would like it. I don't know if you sent me the, the ones that you thought no one would have liked, but uh, these are beautiful. So everyone would, li would like this. Look at this. Like It's like... It's like eyelet, but it's got a pattern on it. And it's, you know, it's all flowery and pretty. Oh man, this is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Oh man, this is gorgeous. I cannot wait to work with some of this. This is awesome. Wow, very beautiful. I'm going to probably say thank, a thank you a million times, but thank you. <laughs> and here, what is this? This is like, um, what, what, damask? Is that what they call this? Beautiful vintage journal this would make. Look how pretty. And here's some more. This is, uh, okay, so this is, uh, I'm just looking at pictures like this bridge. And then this is, um, this one has a different scene on it. The townspeople. That's cool. That's going to make a beautiful cover. I can't, I really cannot wait to just get creative with this. And oh, Christmas. Suggestions for, okay. I'm just reading this at, <laughs> read what it says here okay so we've got red bows and a little leaf we could cut that out we have um oh look at all these little things you can cut out with a, a little like sprays with or you know acorns and berries acorn sprays there it says it right there <laughs> okay so this is something what is this now i saw is this what, uh, wait a minute, hold on, hold the phone, let me turn it around. Yay! <laughs> Maria got some of this too, where we can cut out the little shirts. Yes, we can. We can cut out the little shirts and make little uh, something for our journal. We can glue this down to a page or make a little tag. Uh... That is so cool. I wonder if Maria will make a little shirt for her doll. <laughs> that would be cute, Maria. If it fits her. If it would fit her, it might be too small. I don't know. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you. I can't wait to do something with that. <laughs> Look at the bird. Birds. Beautiful cardinals. The family has been a wife here. That's the, what's this, the boy that's prettier. So there's the boy and there's the girl. <laughs> so cute, so pretty. I'm folding this wrong, but I'll fold it better later. Now this is, um, she said something about Hawaiian, Hawaiian fabric. So this looks very Hawaiian to me and very pretty. I, I like this. I, what did she, what? She said no one would like this. What in the world? It's like upholstery fabric. 
and so it's very strong and this would be beautiful on the front cover of a journal for summer wouldn't that make a beautiful tropical journal uh, and besides that uh, it could be combined with other things like travel or ocean related you know tropical the whole tropical island type thing and very pretty look at that so pretty thank you Laura I love it I love it I love it people will love that if you think no one will like that people will love that first of all it's a really good material to sew on you know that'll be nice to sew on so okay so let's open the little packages and then we'll open this this monster here this is um this is an envelope you can see priority mail express and it is i cut it open so we could get it open hopefully easily when i get to it but if you can see there's absolutely no air in here <laughs> it was like vacuum packed almost so okay let's open this little goodie bag let's see let's dig in here and see what we have Lots of goodies. Oh, goodness. Lots of tiny bits here. Lots of fun. Okay, so I'm just going to, like, show you what I have and then put it back in the bag. So, pretty sequins. And I saw Maria make a shaker tag today. So, lots of pretty sequins in here. I've never bought anything but the round sequins. That's the only sequins I've ever had. So, all of these hurt. Maria's was so pretty, her shaker tag with all these different shapes. There's even a little blue shell in here. Isn't that cute? Oh, man, these are going to be fun, fun, fun. I'm going to have to just look up sequin uh, videos to see what fun I can have with these. Uh, they all have holes in them, too, cause, so you could run a string through there and use them for a little charm. Wouldn't that be cool? Like there's a butterfly here that could be like a charm. Let me see. That's these are strong. Yeah, these could. I'm gonna use these as charms. Some of them. There's a little leaf in here. Wouldn't that make a cute little charm? Oh my goodness! I'm just getting lots of ideas. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> so cool. Who knew? Who knew? I did. Who knew? Who knew I needed? I was gonna say who knew I needed all these uh, sequins, but Laura apparently knew. I'm sorry, I'm having too much fun, right? <laughs> Bells, which I do like to use in my Christmas journals. I like to put bells on little um, paper clips or, you know, uh, and they sound so pretty. Um, but I like to put bells on something to hang from, uh, like tags and things off the pages. Or paper clips is what I did last year. I hung them from paper clips on um, my pages from my, for a Christmas journal I made. And there's some super cute little gingerbread man, men in here. So cute, they're so tiny. Some Christmas trees, gingerbread man. Gold stars, oh, you could do a little um, star on the tree. It's a little big for the tree, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't care if it's too big, it looks cute. <laughs> okay. Stocking, a snowman. Let's see, I'm trying to, here's another snowman. I think I've got a little snowman and all the little, those little foam, they're like foam pieces. Here's some beads, some pretty beads. Pretty beads. Okay, and here's a, oh, here's a little, this is, I think, foamy too. It's a little snowflake. Isn't that cute? Some bows, look. Purple. Uh, oh, look at this little thing. This is a little flower. This is adorable. So pretty. This would be cute in a, well, any journal, really. But it's just a little tiny flower. Okay, I'm going to put those back in that bag. As I pick them up, I'm going to just show you a little flower, a little pinwheel with a button in, on the middle. And some, let's see, there's... And a little flower here with a little pearl in the middle. And then another snowflake. And another flower, a pink flower with a pearl in the middle. And a white flower. With a, they're like silky ribbony type flowers. And let me see, a little purple one. It's 
that's all of those. So many bits. This is a little gem of red, blue, blue. Oh, here's another bead. Pretty blue bead, like a wooden. Those are like wooden beads. Red one. This is a pretty one. A little green, but it's two different colors. Can you see that? Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where the, where the middle of my camera is. <laughs> If you do YouTube videos, you know how that is. You hold it in one spot, which you think is the middle, but then you look up and you say, no, that is not the right spot. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put some of these in my hand here. There's some beads and buttons. So I'm just going to put them in my hand so you can see gems. And this is a really thin, like paper thin, not paper thin, but like a shell kind of feeling button. The pretty flower button, that's neat. Another thin shell one. Gems. I just want to see what they all are, you know what I mean? Gems. Oh, look at that one. Pretty pink one. A little, what is that, clear or, yeah, a clear one. A little star gem. Look how tiny. More, but, more of these star buttons. These are really cute. And then a shell button and a, what is this? Hold on. This is... Okay, wait a minute. i got to put these down. i got to look at this. This is a mouse. I think it's a mouse. <laughs> or a bunny. has kind of long ears. Maybe it's a bunny. Could be a bunny. And here's another one. Ah! So tiny, I can't get a hold of it. Yeah, it's another. I think it might be a bunny. The ears are kind of bigger than a mouse, but it could be a mouse because mice have big ears too. Okay, so let me. Here's more. Uh, well, here's more over here. How do these get over here? Some more foam pieces and. Okay, I guess I just dump thing, get something everywhere. Gingerbread men and. And, uh, oh, look at this. A little lace flower. Lace with a flower. That's a cute little, like, it's already a collage. So neat. Thank you, Laura. What a cute, fun goodie bag that, that was. Of course, I didn't finish everything yet. Did I? Did I? This was all in there, right? Oh, this was all. <laughs> wow, how did you get all this in there? <laughs> I hope I can get it back in there. Okay. And I hope I can get this open. There's a bunch of little bits in here. It's not sequins. It's uh, some cool little bits in here. Oh, they're like metal pieces. There's um, a brad in here, yellow brad. And these are, okay, so these are brads. Okay, these are brads. This is like a pin. This is cool because this was a pin of some kind, like maybe from jewelry. And it's a cute little perfect fall leaf. That'd be perfect for, for decorating a journal somewhere inside or on the outside. Here's a fish, a fish brad, a fish brad. <laughs> Another leaf, oh, there's different color leaves, orange, green, yellow, red, and <clears throat> some different colored brads, some square, square brads. That's neat, and here's a teeny tiny little star. Uh, it's like a has a pin on the back. Oh no, that that's a brad. I thought it's so tiny I couldn't see what it was. Okay, cool. Those are neat. Wow. I do not have anything like. I, you know, you you have a craft room full of stuff, and you think you have everything, and apparently I don't have everything because I don't have half of this stuff. Huh? Isn't that neat? Okay. And you might have to tell me what, if I don't want know what something is, you're going to have to tell me, Laura, <laughs> if I say it's the wrong thing, but um, because I'm not sure what these are. They're like a metal frame with a kind of a vellum, okay, that's two, like a vellum center, kind of like a key tag, but they're rectangle. Well, that's neat. I could coffee dye these. And there's little strings, so I guess they're like key tags. Wow, interesting. Okay, so what do we have? We have, 
Oh, look, even the little square one has a hole in it. Isn't that neat? I've never seen these before. This is the cutest little one right here. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Then, because that could be, that could be a little charm. I could decorate these. Wow, cool. I've never seen these before. I have no idea. I had no idea they existed. <laughs> that is neat. I love those. Those are really fun to do something with. I can't wait to just think about what I'm going to do with these things. This is awesome. Thank you, Laura. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the phone. Strings. So don't put them back in there. Okay, so we've got some trims. We've got purple. I don't want to take them apart because they're so n packed in here nicely right now. But I'll just show you what's in here. I think you can see them all. There's some pretty pink ribbon here. See how pretty that is? It's got a pattern on it. Some green rickrack. Some white rickrack. Neat. I don't have any. It's thin. I love, all, I mean, I kind of like love all sizes of rickrack. <laughs> That's some like light purple there. Some, I would say royal blue. Some of this blue, maybe more of a turquoisey. And orange, I love orange and purple. Purple lace, I mean, a uh, silky trim. Very cool, thank you, Laura, that is awesome. There's no way I'm getting this back in there. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so I got. I looked at everything and that was in this bag. Okay, now we got to move because I know I'm going too slow. This says three yard lengths except lavender. Oh, wow, three yards. That's a lot because, you know, what it takes to put on a page or something. Of course, they can be used for, for closure too, but these are, well, these are gross grain. Uh, gross grain. Grow green. I, I think I sometimes I think in um, spelling. You know how you spell something, and you learn how to talk phonetically. <laughs> sometimes I think of the spelling and say the word wrong. Apparently, like I just did. But yeah, grow green. Uh, ribbon. And this is a pretty yellow. I like the little hair ties that you have. That's a really good idea. A good way to organize these and keep them from going everywhere if you don't have them on a spool or something or take them off the spool when they take up less room i'm gonna have to think about that wow what a great idea because i was just kind of organizing my spools they were falling out of this little basket i have over there and i have them stacked in there like next to each other on the spool you know what i mean and then but i had bought some new ones a while ago but still uh, they're in the way they're in there. They were just kind of starting to fall out, but this Would take up so much less room wouldn't it? Yes, it would Perfect idea. So I've got green light yellow a pretty like um, uh, I'm gonna say either magenta or burgundy I'm Trying to see if I'm seeing right. I think it's closer to burgundy an apricot or peachy color and this is satiny this is not grow green this is satiny too a light pretty mint green this is light blue and this is lavender so pretty and all the different color little top uh, hair type hair elastics on there are very pretty around there with the different colors those are cool thank you Laura that is a lot of trim. <laughs> and thank you so much because, you know, you know we're on the no spend thing. And so <laughs> I think she put some extra stuff in here so I wouldn't be tempted to go to the thrift store. <laughs> like, Sherry, you can't go to the thrift store. You've got way too much here. You don't even need to look at the thrift store. Okay, so these are some pretty lace trims, it looks like. Oh, yes, black. I'm using up my black right now, and I may be just about out of it. And look at this. Isn't that pretty? Can you see that? Very, very pretty. <laughs> okay, so that's a bunch. Some white. 
also very pretty. Trying to see if we make sure you can see. Very pretty, right? And some more white. And this can always be coffee dyed if you don't want it white. I have never coffee dyed any actually though. I've just seen other people do it on YouTube and it turns out really pretty. So I'm going to have to actually try it sometime. Okay, so this is, well this is like a ruffle already, already ruffled. This was perfect because I don't have to do anything to it but sew it down to a page. That's neat. Something different with the black and white too. That's cool. And then some pretty, very pretty, pretty, pretty pink. Shabby chic all the way right there. <laughs> that is pretty. Okay, so let's put that back in here. And, well, I think we're doing pretty good, right? Maybe, I don't know. I got that big vacuum pack bag over here <laughs> still. <laughs> okay, I wonder what time it is. Oh gosh, I'm sorry if we're getting a little long. I'll try to go a little faster for y'all so you don't have to sit here all night to see what Laura sent me. Okay, so we've got some appliques, so it looks like, or patches. Uh, strawberry picking, isn't that cute? I love it. Girl Scouts, happy holiday. Um, <laughs> that's so cute. Valentine's Day, awesome. I do make a Valentine's journal, of course, uh, from Laura, from Hawaii, Hawaiian Luau. Isn't that cool? I'm going to definitely have to make a summer tropical journal with the fabric. This little patch can go in there, and lots of these things that she sent me, that Laura sent me, can go in there. Oh, look at this Halloween trunk or treat, St. Patrick's Day. Whoops. I don't think I've ever made a St. Patrick's journal, but this could also go in like a spring journal, you know, around that time of year with the, lots of green in it. Look at this. This is really neat. I've never had anything this wide and it's stretchy, but that's so pretty. I love that green. And it's got a little ruffle on the bottom. Isn't that neat? Like down here. I wonder what originally that was used for. You know, <clears throat> like what it was made, what kind of, what it went on, you know, what, what did, what would, besides journals, what did someone do with this? You know what I mean? Oh, look at it against this fabric right here. Look at this. With this green. And then, I think that would be pretty, oh, on the Christmas too. Oh, yes. Okay. This is going to come in handy. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Laura. And some brown trim. Huh. Look at that. That is textured. Very pretty. Look at the texture on there. And there's a bunch of this. And I won't take the time to fold it up neatly right now because I said I would try to go a little faster here. I will get that organized later. Some zippers. Okay. I... I I do use zippers and uh, these are really nice. I mean, look at the, look at the, look at the thickness on this zipper. That is, and it's like black and bronze. It's almost like you can use this as trim. I wonder, hmm, I'm going to think about that. But Marie and I were talking about different, you know, thinking of different ways to use zippers because we both have zippers we need to use. And here's some tassels. I got tassels once. I think I used them all as like, uh, I think I put them on the front of one. I know I put one or two on the front of a journal as like a, almost like a, I think I put it with a charm even, maybe, as decoration on the front of a journal. And, uh, or you can just hang them off the side of a journal, of course, you know, a little tassel. So those are neat. Thank you. Yeah, I used, I had a couple and I used them up, so. That's cool. I'll definitely be using those. A buckle. Cool. Awesome for a little tie closure, right? And then here is some. Okay, what do we wait a minute? Wait a minute. Now, let me get it. Let me get don't let me get ahead of myself. Oh, 
Okay, <laughs> she wrote me a little note here and it has a beautiful little, okay, she used one of her brads through a crochet flower with some eyelash trim there. That's cool, that's beautiful, Laura. She's very artistic, very artistic. Okay, and I'm dying to see what this, oh, here's another buckle I missed. I think, I don't think that's, yeah, there's two in there, okay. This is like, what is this? Elastic for today's fashions. Okay, here they're showing how to use it. Like I was saying, how did, pe how did people originally use that other one? It was for what, for waistbands? So like the waistband of a pant, of pants, the waistband of a skirt, the waistband of a, a, like shorts, and the waistband on the bottom of a jacket, or the sleeve cuff. Okay. That's how you use this. Look at the colors on here. This is really pretty. Decorative elastic. Elas elastic. I've never, I never had any of this before. So, uh, but look at the colors on here. Hopefully, um, you can see. I'm trying to get the glare off there. But can you see those colors? Several different colors on there. Pink, blue, yellow, tan, uh, off-white or acru or whatever cream color. It's really pretty. And there's... 30 inches in there, so almost a yard, right? Okay, so here's some beautiful fabric wrapped, and she's got something wrapped in here. So beautiful little pink satin kind of uh, fabric. Isn't that pretty? Perfect size for a journal cover, right? So that is very pretty. And then these little, it says frog fastener on here, but I guess these are they're hooks. Well, this would be neat to fasten something together with, like a like a journal. <laughs> and here's another one, a bigger one, red. And this is kind of a. I think if I'm seeing right, it's like a khaki green. But these are neat. And these are look like they're you know vintage. I mean, I'm probably most a lot of this stuff. All these things are vintage, of course. So. But you can just see the brown packaging here. That's why I'm commenting on it. But very neat. Okay. That is awesome. So that was... Let's see. That was in here. Okay. So we've covered everything here. Now, the big vacuum-packed envelope. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Okay. I'm just going to pull it out as best I can. It's tight in there. <laughs> I'm not complaining. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I just see beautifulness here. Oh my goodness. She. Oh my goodness, Laura. <laughs> you have spoiled me rotten here. Oh wow. I will never buy fabric again, I don't think. <laughs> Okay, here's a little envelope. Let's see what's in here. Use sloppy stitching. Should have used walking foot on. No, it's fine. <laughs> what are you talking about? Should have used walking foot. No, I don't know. Let's see. Hide it with the thing in the middle. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, this is made from a bamboo shoot looks like a paint chip to me it has a pretty crushy flower here and I have to read this further and see what she's talking about here but uh, something about sloppy stitching but I don't uh, okay maybe I'll see the stitching I don't know I don't see any stitching do I I don't know <laughs> I'll figure it out later okay oh are you talking about this Maybe she's talking about this. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't see anything sloppy here. It just is beautiful. So she's got a pretty tight closure on this little fabric envelope. And it's like pieced together. This is this is not sloppy. This is not, this is like perfect. Um, Laura, this is beautiful. I mean, look at this. I mean, this looks hard to me. I don't know if I could even do this. It's all... 
piece together beautiful pieces of fabric first of all pieced together and sewn together over okay some like here I'll show you the inside gold metally paper and then sewn on the edges all around to make this envelope and she makes these beautiful little uh, snippet strips here and so here's the piece right here and look at all the beautiful colors in there even some bling there okay so let's see what's in here <gasps> oh <laughs> Oh my goodness these are like uh, you know I really need to these are beautiful I have no idea how to make these so I'm not gonna even try to explain I will just show you how beautiful aren't they how beautiful are they and there is a bunch in here I have no idea how to make these I've never made these so but they're like little flowers material fabric flowers so let me just show you on my hand here. Okay, so this is this is on a strip, like a snippet roll. So it's all ready for something to go into something. And these are also ready to go into something for layering or whatever. Aren't they cute? These are perfect. Laura, I hope you don't think these are anything's wrong with these, because she's kind of thinks um Laura thinks something's wrong with some of her work, and I'm like, no. What are you talking about? They're beautiful. <laughs> these are these are perfectly beautiful. I mean, there's these are these are awesome. I can't even tell you what I'm. I mean, hope you feel, hopefully you're seeing what I'm seeing because I mean, look at the middle of this one. There's a little uh, is that crochet in the middle? A little crochet piece, a little tiny crochet piece. I think if I'm seeing right with this fabric flower. And she even has some eyelash trim in there. That is so cool. These are beautiful. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. That is just, oh my goodness. I can't even believe you sent those to me. I'm so fortunate. Oh my goodness. <laughs> thank you, Laura. I told you I was going to say thank you a million times, right? Okay, so um, all of this was in that envelope. Okay, this was in the envelope here too so I open the little envelope I'm just trying to keep things organized here this went with the envelope and then this is another little packet of goodies okay so let's open this and tie this and see what it is we've got well these are sequin falling at edge okay oh no let's see it looks like a lacy piece of sparkly fabric sequence falling at edge okay maybe i need to be careful <laughs> i'm not sure sequence falling at edge but look at how beautiful it's a strip or it's a strip yeah so beautiful this will be this could be layered with that lace too look how pretty and blingy and sparkly that is that's beautiful. I've never used anything like that, so that will be neat to have fun with that. I'm not going to try to get it back in the bag right now. I'm just going to keep it all together right over here. And then here's some gold. Let me see. Get this open. It's so much prettier out of the package, right? I have to show you all. Okay, so this is gold blingy fabric that's so pretty look how it sparkles <laughs> we like sparkles <laughs> look how pretty <laughs> sparkly very pretty that is gorgeous gorgeous okay I put that with my other sparkly stuff and there's that went with that and let's see what we have here some oh yeah I think Maria got something like this too some like Hawaiian it says Hawaii right here and it's <clears throat> like Hawaiian uh, stickers right 
So we've got a little hula, hula skirt. A cute, look at that cute guitar there with the flowers on it. That's awesome. Is that a coconut? I think that's a coconut and a pineapple. Some pretty flowers. And a little glass here with the umbrella. <laughs> it's so cute. Thank you, Laura. And let's see now. Did I read this one? Yes. And another one of her crochet flowers on that tag. So, let me see how that tied it all up. And so look at these pretty, oh, look at this. Little squares. Oh, that's going to be fun in my Hawaiian tropical journal. These are beautiful. I love the colors. Hmm, I wonder, I wonder, wonder, wonder. I might try my first stitching together of uh, fabrics. Wouldn't these look good? I'll stitch together like, you know, like Laura did with that other envelope pieced together on a fabric, on a journal cover. Super pretty colors. And there's, there's the, that could be on the, if I put that in the right spot, it could be like right on the front of the journal with the Aloha. That is beautiful. Okay, so let's see. We've got some fabric here and other goodies. <laughs> Trim. Really pretty. Oh, this is gorgeous. <laughs> Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> love that. That is awesome. I love that. That's like, oh my goodness. This is taking my breath away right here. I can't even breathe. <laughs> that is so pretty. It's like, that must be up my alley because I'm just like staring at it and taking, it's taking my breath away. Odd links. Okay. Pretty like da daisy. These look like daisies to me. Daisy appliques. This is pretty, pretty lace. And the front is here. And then we've got pretty white lace. Definitely going to have to try my hand at coffee dyeing. Ooh, some pretty eyelet lace or eyelet trim. That's going to be perfect on the side of a journal. Oh, look at this. So this is, um, I guess this is, uh, I'm guessing this is tatting. I have some tatting and it looks like this. So I'm thinking this is also tatting, but that is really beautiful. Beautiful tatting. And, oh, look at this little lace trim. That is gorgeous. And this is, oh my goodness, some more tatting. I believe this is also tatting. I never knew what it was before. I never had any. And then my neighbor gave me some. And I still didn't know what it was. She didn't tell me what it was. She just gave it to me. And I was like, oh, that's beautiful. Of course, I loved it. And then, I heard someone say it on YouTube that it was tatting. I was like, oh, so that, I just thought it was crochet, you know. I just called it all crochet and start, until I heard someone say that. This is beautiful turquoise lace. Isn't that beautiful? That will make beautiful decoration on all parts of a journal. And let's see. Bees. Awesome. Love bees. I have... I have a little collection of bee stuff. Laura, you probably didn't even know that. But um, I don't have any bee appliques, and I have very little bee stuff, but I have a few things. And whenever I get something, I put them all in this little... I actually had... Do I still have it? I think I have a box over. Let me look. Yeah, I have a box of... Uh, I think it's bee stationery that I had got one time in a thrift store. And I think I have a few pieces of bee stationery left. And then, so, um, it's it's a, it's a good size stationary box, so whenever I get something bee-related, I put it in that box, so I can, I've made a couple of bee journal, like traveler's notebooks, and um, so now, and I haven't made any lately, though, in a, a, probably over a year, but whenever I get bee stuff, I put it in there, so when I'm ready to make a bee journal, I have it all in one spot, so let me see, this is cool, like labels fabric 
Let's see, I'm just going to pile all the fabric up right over. Oh gosh, this is cool because it's all squares like like this pieces. So oh, let me let me keep this together. So I'm just going to like flip through it for you so I can keep it all together. So we have the labels. We have um, this with oh this is like farm related fresh milk, uh, chickens and little farm related things farm vegetables. Then we have red and black cows with white on them. Or <laughs> I probably said that wrong. Black and white cows over red background. How about that? Does that sound better? <laughs> and this would go right along with it. The black and white here. And we've got flowery. Flowery, flowery. Let's see. I'm trying to make sure I'm seeing the front of it. Yeah. So this is pretty flowery. And then there's another flowery but different colors. And so, yeah, that's those two pieces. And oh, look at this. This looks so vintage right here. This is so pretty. The green. This is so pretty. So pretty. It's also pretty. <laughs> I just want to sit here and stare at it. Uh, reds and greens. That is so pretty. I love that. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. This is so unique. All this fabric is so cool. I mean, I think they only have this in Hawaii or something. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. This is so pretty with the colors here, the pink and the black and the blue and the gray. The little hearts could be like, a, this would be cute for a Valentine journal, wouldn't it? Look at the hearts and then in this little couple. That's so cute. It's so awesome. And here I see cookbook related stuff, a cookbook journal. Or a recipe journal, whatever you want to call it. But this is really neat. This would be neat colors. You know, it's different. With these, uh, like a bronzy color. And the blues. Could be very retro. That's neat. I love it. Okay, so that was that pile. Now here's another. We have three more piles to go through really quick. Then I won't have to do a second video. So let me see what the best way to do this. Or maybe take one of these off. Think, but keep it together and I'll just do like a little flip over here so you can see the, all of these fabrics. So like we have, uh, there are strips of fabric and maybe torn. And I love that because I love the frayed look. And then so, oh, look at this. This is so cool. Like this is like my dream fabrics right here. Oh my goodness. These are like just really literally my dream fabrics, Laura. <laughs> you just like, if I were to, pick out exactly the fabrics I would want. I just, these are so cool. Anyway, let's flip. Flowery, yellow flowery. Can you see those flowers on there? Those are so pretty. And then let's see, there's this one. And I think, oh, this is okay. I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to have to take the uh, I think some of them I'm going to have to, okay, I'm going to take all the little bows off for right now because um, some of them I'm not going to be able to show you the inside, the front of them without taking the little bows off. So see right here, like this is the back and here's the front, beautiful front, right? You want to see that. <laughs> you want to see just the back. Okay, so super pretty, right? Oh my goodness, so I'm trying to figure out how I can best show you this in the quickest way. Red, oh goodness, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. Pretty. Is this, I don't know if this is feed sack fabric, I don't know. It looks vintage, that's all I know. And cotton. You know, I'm not a fabric expert, so... Um, but these are nice to sew on, these type of fabrics. So these I love. I mean, I love all these fabrics, but um, I'm just puzzled as to why you said no one would like your fabrics, Laura. I don't know what you were <laughs> referring to, but these are all awesome. This says sweet friends, hugs, sweet, you know, really pretty, pretty purple. Pretty, 
flowery lavender with flowers on it. Oh, look at this one. That is so pretty. I'm just going to have to... Where's that cookbook one? I'm working on a cookbook journal now, so... And a sewing journal. Pretty. These are all gorgeous. Now I messed that one up. Let me get it back together. Look how pretty. Oh. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Polka dotty. Pink, pinks and purples and peachy. Okay. And we've got red stripes that would fit into several journals. Oh, look at this. Blue. Where, where's that red one? I just... I uh, wonder if this would look good together. See how that looks next to each other? Those two would look good together. That's neat. And this red, even these two would look good together. Right here, the red stripe and the blue stripe. I pick, I'm seeing beach when I see that. It seems like it's a beach colors for some reason. Why Why is that? <laughs> beach umbrellas or something? Okay. This is pretty. More polka dotty. I love polka dotty. Stripes here. And then look at these two next to each other. Laura, you had these packs so nice and I'm messing them up. I hate that. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out how to pack it back in there, pack them back together because I like, I like that whole look of them just being so perfectly stacked. This is pretty too with all the reds and blues in here. That would be beautiful in a journal to combine those colors. A beautiful green. This would be beautiful in spring, right? Because in, in, in spring, now I know it's green all the time in Hawaii, but <laughs> and I'm from Florida, so I know it's green all the time, in South, especially South Florida. But here in North Carolina, by spring, we are craving green, and we can't wait for our green leaves to come back on our trees. And, and we, I mean, I even like look for green clothes, and <laughs> I have a green purse. And I just get out all my green in the spring and just enjoy the new leaves and the warm air so here's this is pretty this looks like ticking almost and then holly hobby this looks like holly hobby isn't that cute look like little holly hobbies and this would be perfect on a little golden book journal or a baby journal so cute So cute. And oh, here's another one. Wonder, would that go with Holly Hobby? And this one, well, no, I probably put them separate. Yes, I would. Oh, I'm getting them mixed up in here. Okay, we've got flowers. And the this one here, which is like a patchwork almost uh, with a little teddy bear. Look at this beautifulness here. Pretty bright pink flowers on that brown background. Looks so pretty. And oh, I'm just messing everything up. <laughs> and this one's absolutely beautiful too for spring or whenever. But absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I want to keep all these together. These little ties are so cool. Okay, we've got two more bags. Okay, I am not taking this one apart. But I think you can see. This one looks like it's um, packed a little different than the other one. So we've got this pretty blue. And let me just turn this right side out. Look at that. Pretty dotty pink. Um, this is that tan. There was another strip of this over here, right here. Here you go. That's where it came from. <laughs> so I can make my own strips if I need to. Here's a pretty ladybug. 
uh, with the grasshoppers and butterflies. Isn't that pretty? And ooh, look, there's a bee on that one. Cool. That's going to have to go in my bee, my bee box. This is a little doggies, it looks like, with hearts. That's neat. And then look at all these gingham black. Gingham. I love the size of it, too. The size of the gingham. Look how tiny that is. A little tiny gingham. That's neat. <gasps> look at this one. Talk about tiny gingham. That is cool. I thought that other one was tiny. Like They're different. That's so cool. Different sizes of red gingham. And orange gingham. I've, wow, I didn't even know there was such a thing existed. Tangerine, yellow, uh, mint gingham. <laughs> There's different sizes of yellow I think I'm seeing here too. Here's a little, this is small and this is smaller. So, and then different shades of blue. Oh, that's the mint. This is blue. This is a different blue, well... It's a kind of a similar blue, but it's a bigger one. And this is a darker blue and a light blue. And another light blue and a purple. Wow, that is so cool. Look at this one. This one's pretty too. And then we've got some, what is this here? Oh, Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Ann in there. And some, okay, so this has got a backing on it. So this is from, oh, this is Quilty. Oh, here's Raggedy Ann right here. Raggedy Ann is quilt, quilted. That's neat. That would be so cool. And I wonder if I have a Raggedy Ann book somewhere. I'm going to have to keep that. Remember that I have that. And if I find Raggedy Ann in my stash, a book, I'll have to save that for that. Okay, I know this is taking a while, but we've got one more bag and then I won't have to do a second video. So let's go quick. Uh, kind of an overall general look at things here. So we've got yarns. Uh, looks like maybe from Italy. Okay. Wow. These are like, they look kind of like eyelashy trims here, but these look just like straight like yarns. Different types of yarn. She says yarns, but they're like Kind of like trims so let me just show you if you can see through the bag there's just a lot of i wouldn't want to take all these out different types of yarns okay she describes them here crystal palace yarns from waikiki okay this one says marabella but in italy so wow neat so these are from Waikiki. Look at the colors though. Yes, those are very bright and pretty for a Hawaiian tropical journal. And here's some sparkly ones to go with the sparkly material. A uh, lion glitter spun or china online in some Italy, 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 China, and China. Okay, so I'll let you just see the colors. There's like bronzy, yellow. Different. This one looks like it. Maybe it's different colors as as you um, go through the yarn. You know how some yarns change colors. It looks like maybe this one does that. Just all sorts of pretty bright colors in there. This one is. Uh, let's see if there's. I don't know right right now, but uh, Burn Burnett, Envy. Uh, I see like eyelashes sticking out. <laughs> Possibly some eyelash trim, but it's very, uh, it's got a sparkle to it too. So I will, as I use these, I will have to tell you like this is the one from Laura that I showed that was in a bag, but we couldn't see very well because there was a lot in there and I didn't want to take them out. <laughs> but there's the greens. I see greens, whites, purples, and here are all different colors, blues. Yellows, uh, here's another one, all blues and greens and all shades of blues. This one is, uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, these are neat. These are very different. I, hopefully you can see through the bag like I can. 
in um, with my eyes because it says something on here about well it says trendsetter yarns blossom and the beautiful colors of course I mean look at this and there's another one that says Italy on it so just so let's, let's let you see it looks like kind of eyelashy too I don't know I will find out as I open these and then let you know but, oh my goodness, Laura, you have just blessed me beyond words here. I'm kind of blown away. I don't know. <laughs> I'm losing my words. Okay. Uh, fancy, lion fancy fur. And this is some other tr trends. Oh, look at the pretty colors here. Isn't that neat? And then a bunch of uh, pretty colors in here, too. Just This is like every color known to man, I think. Here's some fall colors. I'm trying to see what they say so I can share with you, but I can't really... I can't really... Uh, I can't really... I don't really know. <laughs> okay, so this is fibers only. Okay. Yeah. These are going to be fun. Here's um, just this one out of the bag here. These are neat. I think I've these kind of pull apart. I've seen these before. This is a pretty color, though. I never have, I don't have this color. Isn't that pretty? That would be pretty as a closure, too, a tie closure. Just thought of that because I have, I have um, something like this that spreads apart like that, but it's uh, I never thought of using it as a tie closure until... Just now. So here's some pinks and reds in this one. These are very bright, pretty colors. And look at this one. Oh, these are beautiful colors. Brown, pink, gray, white, um, gold, kind of a golden brown, yellow, and red. And I see eyelashes. <laughs> I think I have some eyelash trim in here, <laughs> possibly. All right, I think I opened it all. Sorry that it took so long, y'all. I hope you stayed with me to the end and you didn't mind, you know, exploring Laura's happy mail with me and I will let you go and not, you know, blab here. But um, I just want to say a quick thank you to Laura and I will be emailing you and um, I'm so grateful and uh, blessed. Thank you so much. Um, I can't even tell you how thankful I am. So I'll email you and try to put it into words. But um, thanks everybody for watching tonight. Happy crafting and I'll see you next time.